Welcome to this Tobacco University student series video. We're going to see preparing a growing area in Easy Cloner before plant material is harvested. So it's important to get everything all set up ahead of time before you go out and harvest the plants, even though that's the fun part, because you want to make sure everything's mechanically working and ready for your clones. All right, so when we're looking at this student series video here, looking at preparing the growing area, just to give you a little background information, if you will, this was the general starting material. And we could see there's a hodgepodge of items here. So the goal for Kiara was to turn this collection of materials into a functional cloner. Once this task was achieved, then plant material could be collected and that will be on a separate video. Remember, it's important to get everything mechanically checked and working properly, then dial in nutrient concentrations followed by pH. Once this is achieved, you can go get the plants. Once you cut your plants, you want to be having the least amount of time before they enter the cloner. So let's see how Kira went about setting up this collection of materials to get the area ready for the soon to be cut clones. So far, we only started out with just the table and our light support. So we had to go out and make sure all of our area were sanitized. So we wiped down both the top and the bottom and the surrounding areas to make sure it's all sanitized and clean, ready to go for our plants so that there's no cross contamination. We then hung our light ballasts up onto the light support and connected them to each of our lights. Of course, had to individually go through and plug each of them in, but each light is different. We're using Fluence LED lights. We made sure to have them evenly spread out so that all of our plants can get an even amount of light. If that doesn't happen, then of course you're going to have weaker plants, which we don't want. We have one high and we have one low just because we don't know exactly how tall our cloner is going to be yet, how far they're going to need to be from the light, so that's why we have them adjusted differently. That's the good that's thing the good. about the ratchet light hangers because they're adjustable, so it's, depending on how the plant is growing, you could move them accordingly. Um, now we're at the stage where we would test out the light before we actually, you know, get everything set up. And it looks like they're working perfectly. So now this is the step where we would grab our cloner and start setting it up on the table. After we're done setting up our lights, we're going to set up our Easy Cloner. So the first step to do that is to fill it with as much water as required. This one I'd say takes about 10 gallons. But before we do, we want to take the tap water that we are planning to use anyways and test it using our Guardian meter. This reads for conductivity, pH, and temperature. Like I said before, this water is straight out of the tap. So our conductivity is reading low at 120. Quite the opposite for the pH, it's reading a little high at 8.1 so for what we're going to do first is adjust our conductivity with our clone X grow solution this will help us adjust our conductivity to be raised higher the reason that we would choose to do the conductivity before the pH is that the this solution has a direct impact on our pH so while we're trying to massively change our conductivity from 200 somewhere up to 600 we're just dialing in very slightly with the pH up and down just a few so like I said just make sure we go into our next step first of um, adjusting the conductivity before we go about adjusting anything with the water we want to make sure that it's at a proper level so that our aeroponics filter actually works. We wouldn't want it to be too high or too low so that nothing is really working as it should. This wants to spray up at the bottom of the plants so that each of the roots get them the nutrients that they need given up to them and if the water level isn't correct then this won't function correctly. We just tested it and it works properly. You could see this because all of it's dripping as it should be. If it wasn't then we would have to adjust the water level higher or lower before adding nutrients to make sure it's at the proper level. So now we need to raise our conductivity levels and lower our pH. So in order to do this, we're going to add our Clonex clone solution. The bottle recommends adding 5 to 10 milliliters per each liter of water. And so I have my recommended amount pre-ready to go. I'm just going to add that slowly in.
And we're just gonna wait a little bit to see how it adjusts the conductivity. After that, we can go in with our pH up and down and fix the pH. So now we just wait. So as you can see, our, P our conductivity has raised to 770, which is the perfect level, and our pH is at a 6.6, .6, which again is right in the middle of where we want it to be.